Welcome back to another episode of Lancer Central, the one-way stop with everything you need to know about your favorite Longwood teams. I'm Emily McNamara, your host this semester, and we're going to, of course, kick things off with the top three plays from the previous week. Number three, we got men's basketball at Charleston Southern, time winding down, and it's Zach Watson with the huge no way block to seal the win. Number two, same game, we got Perkins with the ball in hand now. He passes it over to Wade, step back, and nothing but net from number three. We have seen that play before from him. And at number one, we got women's hoops now against Campbell, and it's Tradesia Smith with the buzzer beating fadeaway jumper to put the Lancers within five going into the fourth quarter. Now that was just one of a few great games last week, but coming up this week the, with Lancer basketball, the women hit the road on Saturday to play Winthrop for the second time, and that game will be at 2 p.m. And the men are looking to pack Willett Hall this Thursday night at 7 p.m. against USC Upstate. It's a matchup of first and third in the Big South. Huge game for the men as they continue to fight to stay undefeated in conference play. And that game will also be aired on ESPNU. The women went 1-1 one one last week, falling short on Saturday to Campbell and falling from first to second in the conference. But where there's struggle, there's room for growth. Lancer Central's Chris Bryant spoke to the team and Coach Tillett about motivation moving forward with the remaining six games of the season. The competitiveness of the league is, is crazy, and we are all competitive people, so in practice it, it's no different than any game. You know, we're going to go at it, we go at each other, and then in the games it's us against whoever's on that court, you know. And we, we like to be the aggressors coming out, you know, whether it's defense, offensively, whatever. We want to be the aggressors coming out. I think it helps a lot to have that in practice, especially, you know, if a team's being really aggressive on defense, we're used to it, you know. We came out here, we're aggressive to each other, we should be able to score through anything, any contact, anything like that. So. You know, I think the key to our success is our women. Uh, you can start with the leadership, obviously our captains, Kyla, Dede, Akila, um, and you look at our extended leadership team that includes Adriana and Anne. I think just a real commitment from them from the moment we got back on campus in the summer to be determined to be a really, really good team. And we talked a lot about going from, you know, working our way up the conference, ended last year in third place, and how going from third place to first place might be the hardest thing that we've done yet. Um, and I think we just keep learning how to respond and just looking forward to the, you know, little past the halfway point for the conference season and what are we able to do in this stretch? You know, what have we learned? And I think this group specifically takes each game as a lesson and what can we do better next game from this game? And they've been building on that. And usually that's what the championship level teams do is they keep getting better until the very, very last game that they have the opportunity to play. So we're just trying to, as a staff, enjoy all the moments. You know, you don't always have a team that's this invested in learning and growth and so much about one another. Um, so trying to enjoy those moments while staying intense and competitive throughout. I think just our non-conference schedule, like playing tough teams and losing all those games and learning the lessons that that helped us in conference because we're what we learned in non-conference we're applying it to conference i feel like we're sisters like the joy and how we are when we come together Softball and lacrosse are finally ready to kick off their seasons this Friday and Saturday. Both teams will be on the road with softball taking a trip to the Sunshine State for the Black and Gold Classic at UCF, while lacrosse heads north to take on UMBC. And that'll do it for this episode of Lancer Central. And as always, to stay up to date with all your favorite Lancer teams, follow us on social media at Longwood Lancers. I'm Emily McNamara. Have a fantastic rest of your week.